Tourism is a key part, a critical part of San Francisco's economy, and it is slowly recovering, maybe too slowly for the city's taste. But I want to introduce you to someone who is trying to reach those tourists with a much more personal approach. He zips through the streets of the city of San Francisco in a Mini Cooper, usually with just a few tourists. He doesn't work in the city's tourism department. So why is he doing all of this? Our Lauren Toms wrote along with him to find out. Hey, Reed. Hey, Lauren. Let's get in. All right. It's convertible. You look up and you see the city. The smallest human guided tour of San Francisco is led by the city's biggest champion. We are the place where you make your dreams come true. We're the place where you, we are tolerant. We are the place where, you know, you could be whatever you want as long as you are a kind person, a good person, whatever it is. Everybody's welcome. Sorry, I get a little frequent when I talk about it. And it's a fitting match for Bay Area native Reed Kirk Roman. Every time my parents would bring my brother and sister and I to the city, either just visit or see family, I just I always thought like, this is my city. This this is where I belong. Each day he gives custom guided tours of his favorite city, San Francisco. With just three people max in his Mini Cooper, Reed says that's all he needs to spread the word that the city is back and better than ever. You know, uh, there were people who said, oh, that's not going to work. What if you need more than, than, what if more than four people want to take your tour? And I said, well, I don't take them. <laughs> that's it. I don't take them. Well, you're losing business. And I said, I don't think so. He says all you need to be convinced that San Francisco is not in a doom loop is to look around. Oh, that's BS. That's the doom loop is something easy to say. It, it riles people up. Oh, my friends and family told me it's dangerous and it's told me, you know, that it's in it and you should and it's scary and it's awful. And we go out and within an hour they're captivated. They're like, this is wonderful. This is great. I don't know what my friends and family were talking about. And I say, yeah, go back and share that. He's not naive to the city's shortcomings, but says its history and spirit is more powerful than negative headlines. You know how exciting the city was? Huh. We couldn't get the Fisherman's Wharf because it was crowded. Why is it crowded? Because everybody who lives in the Bay Area wanted to come here at Christmas time with their families. I, of course, had to ask what his favorite part of the city is, but like any good champion, he couldn't choose. It's, it's like asking your favorite, like, who's your favorite kid? You know, they're, they're, it depends on the mood I'm in. I want to give them an appreciation of the city, sort of, I want my appreciation. I want to be able to, uh, so, that, so that they have it, what a special place it is. I want them to feel a little bit of what I feel about it. Through Reed's eyes, San Francisco doesn't have a bad side, a view he's spreading one ride at a time.